Guys, so I'm home from work. Change of plans, we're not gonna clean today. I don't know when we're gonna be able to do it. Like we're both just exhausted and I got dinner and I'm not gonna make David wait to eat because he hasn't had any food all day. But I wanted to show you guys really quickly what we got. So, so this is David's dinner. So he has, we went to this food truck, two different food trucks, well I did. Um, This is Greek on the street and he has like a lamb pita wrap. And then these are crabby fries from, I think it's called Crab Town Curbs. So what I got is a pita wrap with chicken and feta. And then it has like the tzatziki, I think I said that right, tzatziki sauce. And then I also, let me get a better little view. That looks so good, I'm so hungry. And then um, I also got some crabby fries. We do not normally eat like this, so this is definitely a cheat meal. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go upstairs, eat dinner, probably will not finish this all. This is a lot of food. And then I'll probably have the leftovers for dinner tomorrow as well. So, so we're watching a movie in bed while we're eating dinner. And I just wanted to show you guys actually how much David's over here choking. I just wanted to show you guys how much sorry. of my food I actually finished. <laughs> Why are you saying sorry? So that's how much I finished. And I'm going to save the other half for dinner tomorrow. I haven't even touched the fries yet. I'll probably eat a few of them, but I'm already full. And this is about how much of the fries I was able to actually finish. So this will be my dinner tomorrow. And maybe a little bit will be like a snack the next day after that. Hi guys, so today's Thursday. I just got home from work. I quickly changed into a baggy t-shirt and some pajama bottoms. It is 3.50. Um, I'm tired, very long day at work, but I just keep telling myself one more day and then it's Friday. And then Friday makes it always 100% better, so. So this week, like, David and I ate out twice. And with me doing, like, this weight loss journey, like, that actually, like, I'm not happy about it. But it just, we were so busy. It's not an excuse, but we were busy. And it was easier to grab something versus me coming home and cooking. But um, <clears throat> on Friday night, I plan to sit down, look up some different recipes for meal prep for me for lunch and dinner and then David he doesn't really eat lunch sorry my nose ring was sticking out I wasn't like trying to go my nose my nose ring is sticking out um David doesn't really eat lunch that often but then it's like some weeks he wants to eat lunch and then it's like I only made enough lunch for me but um but this time I don't finish all my lunches I don't like my eating is so weird it really is um <clears throat> but i try to make now david his two days that he doesn't work his night job i try to make sure he has lunch to eat when he's home because when he works his night job like he'll eat breakfast and then he eats whatever i made for dinner before he goes to work and then at his night job he eats like a salad or something so his eating is a little weird too but my goal this week is well this is tomorrow sorry guys i'm like exhausted i'm tired and i'm hungry so but my goal for friday is to look up some recipes like good recipes like but low carb recipes um and focus on that for next week like this week was already over basically like i can't change what i ate i can only improve moving forward and i also <clears throat> am serious like guys the book that i'm reading that I announced in the tbr um let me teach was it let me teach you to be rich Oh my god. Why am I blinking on the name? See, this is what happens when you wake up at 5 in the morning. <laughs> like, you're exhausted. Like, I've almost been up for 12 hours. I'm tired. But, um, oh, in the background you can see my prom picture. And then, like, our wedding invitation. And then, um, our save the dates. That's, I didn't even realize that. But anyway, um, so, well, I'm losing my train of thought, guys. Literally losing my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> so um, I've had two nutrition classes with the registered dietitian for the program I'm in for bariatric weight loss surgery. So like I was saying, so like I mean, I've already taken two of the classes with the registered dietitian and it was interesting because I asked her, I was like, what should my calories be for the day? Like, what should I count? She's like, don't focus on counting calories. And I was like, because literally like <clears throat> every personal trainer I've ever been to every like weight loss vlog video um <clears throat> also if this part of the vlog is triggering to i want to be sensitive to anyone that has issues with diet culture dieting 
or trying to lose weight like i'm just putting a little disclaimer now like this part of the vlog i am going to be talking about weight loss and diets and stuff like that so i'm trying to be respectful to anyone because not everyone's on a weight loss journey i understand that but also if you come to my channel i made that pretty clear that i will be documenting my weight loss journey so i just want to put that little disclaimer out there the put the little put the trigger warnings out there like i'm gonna be talking about weight loss dieting calories stuff like that so she said not to count calories sorry if you can hear it, my lawn is being cut right now um she said not to count calories but to focus on my protein intake and also i just want to make a note of this my guidance may not be the guidance of other programs and i do not want you guys to take what i am being told by the registered dietitian or surgeon or primary care doctor i do not want you guys to take that and run with that like consult your own medical professionals and see what they want you to do because each program i've done research into different programs in the dmv area they all are similar but they also focus on different things they also certain protein shakes that are approved in my program another program may not approve it like it literally is very specific to that center hospital that you are going to so i'm just letting you know what i have been told but i am not a medical professional nor do i claim to be i'm not a registered dietitian i cannot give anyone else guidance on what to do i'm just documenting what i have been told to do i want to make that very clear so that no one comes at me and says well that's not true but i'm just telling you what i have been told to do that's all so she told me to not focus on calorie counting but her main thing is she wants me to focus on protein so each meal for protein my goal is to hit 30 grams at each meal and each meal my for the day i'm sorry for the day i'm only to have 50 grams or less of carbs now this is post-surgery after surgery you are basically on a no carb diet which i'll explain more once i get further in the process but i just want to kind of give you guys the difference okay but um so my main goal <clears throat> for next week is i'm going to be <clears throat> looking up recipes that will have me hitting that 30 grams of protein each meal and being low carb and i i'm not a breakfast person i don't like eating breakfast like breakfast for me is like cereal which i don't take to work like on the weekends we eat cereal not the healthiest cereal there but i do love honey what is it honey nut cheerios but we have just have frosted flakes but david has been destroying that i've had two bowls of it um but i'm not a breakfast person i like i used to literally just drink a protein shake and a yogurt for breakfast which technically the fair life protein shakes i drink are 30 grams of protein but i realized my issue with protein shakes doesn't matter what brand because i also have like the origin powder where you can make your own um <clears throat> it doesn't matter what brand it doesn't matter how many protein how much protein is in it i if i drink a protein shake two hours later i am starving i don't know if that's more of a mental thing for me because i did not physically chew something or it's just I'm I'm hungry. So I've been trying to get away more from protein shakes. Like I may have one once or twice a week still. But I'm trying to get away from that right now and focus on eating like whole foods. Because I know once I have the surgery, I will be having protein shakes for like the first week or two. And on to hit protein goals. But that's different versus me doing it now. So my main thing is I'm going to look up recipes. I'm going to tell you guys what recipes I've found. But I'm breakfast is going to be the hardest for me because I don't like breakfast. <laughs> like, I like having breakfast food every once in a while for dinner. It tastes way better to me if it's at dinner time. Like, breakfast for me, I like, e yeah, I like eggs. But, like, I don't, I'm not the type of person that wants to put so much into my breakfast meal. But it's funny, three weeks ago, I did make avocado toast. This, I will have to add it in a vlog. My avocado toast recipe. Like, I need to show you guys because it was the best avocado toast i've ever had so please be look at that in a future vlog like maybe a weekend vlog i will show you guys my avocado toast recipe <laughs> it is amazing um <clears throat> but i'm not a big breakfast person so that's gonna be the hardest thing for me i thought about just having like boiled eggs and maybe yogurt i don't know what i'm gonna decide but i really think i'm leaning towards just boiled eggs with salt pepper not even really salt i don't, I don't really cook with salt but I need some type of flavor. I eat my boiled eggs with hot sauce. <laughs> so I'm going to do boiled eggs, I think, and do yogurt. But the thing is, I get bored with meals really fast. And that's another problem. I cannot eat the same thing every day. David 
my brother, my father, they all can eat the same thing over and over. Like, David literally will eat peanut butter and jelly for lunch for, like, two, three months straight. He doesn't care. Like, I, that's not me. <laughs> and I feel like that's why we eat out so much. It's because I'll cook something, it runs out, and I'm like, I don't want to cook. You know what I mean? Or it's like, it's day two of the leftovers, day three of the leftovers, and I'm like, I don't want to eat that. I can't eat it anymore. And we eat out. So I'm trying to change that. So I'm going to try to find two to three recipes for dinner, like two recipes for lunch, because my lunch is weird. I can eat kind of the same thing all week, because I don't really care for lunch. But dinner, I'm just picky. I don't know. Is anyone else like to say that, or is it just me? But um, that's my plan. I am going to try to find like basically five recipes, which is going to, and they have to be quick, easy, because I'm not trying to spend all day cooking. I, when I used to like get HelloFresh, I would get those meals for my lunch or dinner, and I would cook all three meals basically on Sunday, so they were meal prepped. And yeah, those meals take like 30 to 45 minutes, but imagine doing that three times, you know? So I'm going to try to find things where it's like the same protein. So like, let's say if I bake all the chicken, but it's like one is like, you know, a wrap. One is just like baked chicken and veggies, but a different sauce. Like that's my plan to try to shortcut and make it faster. So I will let you guys know what I find. I'm also going to go through the freezer, see what meats we have in the freezer that I can get rid of to reduce spending. Because circling back, see how I ramble guys? <laughs> circling back to the book. So circling back to the book. Um, I am basically in the first chapter and the first chapter discusses, you know, credit cards and like debt and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but I think I'm going to do a mini series. I don't know. It depends on how comfortable I feel doing it because, you know, I got bills, you know, I got a little debt. <laughs> so, but I have really been <clears throat> focusing so hard on paying off my debt. Like that is my number one goal. And, you know, me and my friend, we were talking about, like, our plans and, like, how we're, like, so excited about, like, imagine when we're debt-free and, like, you know, all this money is not being thrown towards our debt and, like, it's being invested or saved, you know? So, I have been doing some deep diving because I have a savings account, like, I'm going to be honest. I save money. Like, that's the first thing I do when I get paid is I put money into my savings account. But that's kind of conflicting to do when you have debt. Like, technically, if you have debt, you should not be saving. All your money should be thrown at your debt to get your debt paid off as fast as possible. Which is scary to me because it's like, well, what if something happens? What if I lose my job? What if, you know, then I don't have the money in my savings account. And yeah, my debt is lower, but I still have debt. So I think the compromise that I found for myself is I'm going to have, I don't want to call it an emergency fund because an emergency fund should be at a minimum three months of your bills. And I don't want it to have it that full if that makes sense. But I'm going to have a miniature small savings where I'm comfortable with the number that's in there. That if something happens, I have that money to fall back on. And then I basically am just going to stop trying to save for so many things. Because I, right now, am trying to stop. I was trying to stock up my emergency fund. And I wanted to have a year's worth of an emergency fund for all my bills for a year. That is still a goal. But that is a goal that is being pushed to the side. Um, and then I have a savings account for vacation. I am still going to put money into our vacation fund. So this is why I said it's like going to be a little tweaked for me because we are going to go on vacation. I'm not putting vacation on my, on my cards. So, and the book talks about balance. Like you have to decide what your rich life is and what you want to splurge on and spend your money on. Cause he says like, if you want to buy a latte every day, like do that. So my thing is I love vacation. When I was a kid, my family didn't really go on vacations. So as an adult, I want to go on as many vacations as I possibly can. So me and David have two trips coming up for the rest of this year. So I'm still saving towards them. Like most, one is basically booked. I just have to pay for like where we're staying. And the other one, like we already paid for our tickets to get there. It's just the need to book the hotel. So basically, <clears throat> I'm going to save up for that. And then we... Like, I'm only going to focus on my little mini savings fund and then my vacation fund. The other things I was saving for, I'm going to put those on pause. And I'm just going to take that money. Well, I already did this. So I took money that I had that literally paid off one of my credit cards. So I had the money to pay off one of my credit cards. But I wanted to, I was still in the run of, like, no, save your money and just keep 
paying a little over the minimum payments, like pay what you can afford. Honestly, if you sit down and do the math, even if you're paying a little over, it's going to take you a long time to pay off your credit cards. If you pay the minimum balance, most credit cards, it's going to take you at least 10 something years to pay your balance off because of the interest. So I literally just took the money that I had in my savings. <laughs> so I literally took the money that I had in savings and I literally went to my car and I just paid it off. Because I had to do it right then when I was thinking about it. So I just went to my car, paid it off real quick, went back into work. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have one credit card paid off. Very excited. And then I also have a furniture credit card. And me and David, we recently got a leather couch. Um, what is this month? This is July. So we got a leather couch in June. So we probably ordered it in May. Yeah, that sounds right. We ordered it in May. <clears throat> and I literally only have like $400 left to pay this couch off. So I'm going to pay that off when I get paid tomorrow. And then that's literally two credit cards paid off. And I only have two more to pay. So I'm just feeling very motivated about being debt free. Like that's a goal of mine. Before I purchased this house three years ago, I was debt free because I lived at home with my parents, you know? So if I use my credit card, it was paid off that month. <laughs> and I'm trying to get back to that. Like credit cards are not meant for you to spend over what you can afford. However, it makes it very easy and convenient for you to do that. And when I first moved out, I did not want to blow through my savings. So anything that I needed right then and there, I was putting on my credit card, even though I couldn't necessarily afford it. And I knew I was, I knew what I was doing was not healthy for me financially, but sometimes you, you have to do what you have to do. Sometimes you get put in tough situations. And I will say like, I, I want to do a whole sit down video and talk about my home buying process, things I would do differently and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'll get more into detail about that, like in its own separate, vi <laughs> its own separate video, not really in a vlog style, um, <clears throat> like a sit down. But yeah, so I'm just really excited. Like the fact to know that basically tomorrow I'm going to have two of my four credit cards paid off. And like the furniture credit card, like unless somehow we need a new piece of furniture, it's not going to be used. Like I used it when I first moved out three years ago and this is our first time using it in that, like since the three years ago. So you know, so that one I'm not worried about. The other card that I paid off, it, it's, a, it's an Apple credit card. So the only thing that's hard about that is like, it's on my phone, very easy to use it, but I'm practicing restraint. Like if, if the money is not in my bank account, honey, I'm not buying it. And I think by not eating out every week and literally focusing on making meals that I enjoy, meals like because there's so many restaurant meals like dupes online that you can find and make it healthier and that's what i'm gonna focus on by me just not eating out i'm gonna save so much money so i'm like just very excited for like the headspace i'm feeling at right now because like one <clears throat> i'm on this excuse me guys i like my throat it's like every time i turn on the camera my nose gets stuck and my throat gets irritated like why why is it doing this to me um right now i plan to just sit down um catch up on the stories if you guys don't know what the stories are the stories are like daytime soap operas that i used to watch with my grandmother <laughs> so i'm about to catch up on the young and the restless um david does not watch those with me so i'm like what's today today's thursday i watched monday's episode because david was at work so i'm missing tuesday and wednesday and hopefully today's episodes on there i watched them on paramount plus so i got three episodes to catch up on for the young and the restless I also watched The Bold and the Beautiful, but I'm so far behind on The Bold and the Beautiful that I actually haven't sat down to actually catch up from where I left off, which is, it makes no sense because I'm just letting it get further and further away. But you know, if you watch the stories, you know that they have certain storylines that just get very boring and they have to get through that before they get back to the drama. And I felt like that's where The Bold and the Beautiful was at for me. I'm just like, okay. But however, on The Young and Restless, it's heating up, you know? So I got to the part where, if you guys watch this, if not, sorry for my old lady rambles, basically. I'm a 28 year old, I mean, a, I'm a 70 year old trapped in a 28 year old body. <laughs> but um, where I got to was Phyllis is basically about to turn herself in, we think. She met Michael in the park. So that's where I'm at, cliffhanger, basically, because we don't know what she's about to do. So I'm just gonna sit down, watch The Young and the Restless, finish my food oh my god the food was so good yesterday and David was like this is too much food I was like I know but I just want because he's never had those food trucks so the two that I went to 
I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it was Greek on the street. And then, um, what's the other one? Cur Curb Town Curbs? It's like a seafood type truck. Like they sell like fried fish, fried or coconut shrimp, fried shrimp, um, crab cakes. They're crab dip fries. Whew, the best, the best crab dip fries. Um, so I went in and tried those two things because those are my two favorite trucks. But I barely ate my crab fries. Let me show y'all. So these are my crab fries. I barely ate them because I was so full. And I only ate half of the wrap. So I was like, you know, like when you're so hungry, but when you finally get to sit down and eat, you just, it's, your stomach's at that point where it's like over the hunger. So like that's my wrap. So I was like, hold on, did David eat it? And then it, like, look how much of the wrap I have left. Like, so I'm going to finish this for dinner today. Watch The Young and the Restless. I'll put a little clip in there for y'all. If y'all like The Young and the Restless. Um, I'm going to watch The Young and the Restless. Then I'm going to read some more of my book. Um, so David is at work, as you guys can tell. So, like, when David's here, we spend a lot of quality time together. Because we don't see each other a lot during the week. So we watch our shows together. Watch movies. You know, just hang out. Just talk. But when he's not here, I get to watch the shows I like that he doesn't like. So it's like, you know, I like, we love our time together, but we also love the time apart because we have like such different shows that we enjoy watching that the other one doesn't. So I'm going to watch Young and Restless. Um, I want to start the new show on HBO Max. I think it's called The Idol. Have y'all seen it? I I, I want to like include in probably next week's vlog my first... I'm not even going to say next week's vlog because I'm probably going to try to start it today. But at some point, you will see me talking about the first episode. So I want to watch that. I want to read my book because it is so good. I love this book. I already want to recommend it. And I haven't even finished the first chapter. Um, I want to play The Sims 4. <laughs> One thing about me, I have been playing The Sims since I was like in elementary school because my cousin used to have it. And when we would go over to her house, she would let us play it. Didn't know what I was doing then. But I've been in love with The Sims ever since. Um, I basically own every pack of The Sims. I'm not one of those people that like mods their game. I don't mod my game. I'm not one of those people. I don't I don't want viruses on my computer. <laughs> so I just play what they give you in the game. But I basically have almost every pack except for like the vampire and the werewolves. I'm like, that's just not. I don't know. I love fantasy, but like I don't know how I feel about playing it in a video game. Maybe I'll just get it because most of my packs I have, I don't use them. Anyway, so I'm going to play The Sims 4 um, because I literally, if you play The Sims 4, you know. I literally got my girl through college and she's like a single mom. I got her through college raising her kid and she's finally about to start her career and then I haven't played in days because I was exhausted. Um, so I'm going to play that and then just chill so i'll just add in little clips of me doing the things i'm talking about but i just want to pop on today and let you guys know how my day went i'm so happy it's thursday i'm ready for the weekend like so ready for the weekend i think it's just like i was sick like two weeks ago and then part of last week which was fourth of july i didn't come back to work till after fourth of july because i still wasn't feeling well and i think that's why i'm still like stuffy irritated throat so like I'm not a hundred percent yet, <clears throat> but a girl gotta get, go back to work, you know. So I'm not a hundred percent feeling my best. <coughs> of course, like because I'm saying this, I have to call. I'm not hundred percent feeling my best, but this is my first full week back at work, so it's been exhausting for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's just been exhausting for me because it's like first week back, first like forty hour week, basically. And I still don't feel like 100%. So it's just been very draining. But I know next week will be better because I'm going to rest over the weekend and I'll be fine. But it's just getting back into the groove after being off for, I think I was off for like six days. Well, seven because of 4th of July was a holiday. So it was just like, whew. And I mean, I was sick sick. Like, I, I couldn't do nothing. I was in the bed. Like, it wasn't like I enjoyed my time being home. I wanted to be at work. Because I was going stir crazy in my bedroom. I did not leave my bedroom for seven days. No. Because if you include the weekend, I didn't leave my bedroom for nine, eleven days. Only once when I went to the doctor's Monday. 
it's obvious I'm having a time. But I'm finally on the men. I'm feeling like 85% better. And I'm hoping this week I get to the 100%. Oh, I'm getting very stuffy. But yeah, guys, so I just want to pop in. I feel very chatty today. I don't know why. <laughs> That's one thing about me. I'm actually a very shy, introverted person if you meet me. So I feel like as each day goes on and I keep forcing myself to put this camera in front of me and vlog, it's getting easier for me to talk to the camera, which I'm enjoying willow sign because i'm not paying attention to her so i like i said i'm just gonna get ready to eat dinner and then i was looking for something i don't know what it was I'm gonna eat dinner catch up on the stories play the sims read my book next thing i know it's gonna be time for bed feed the dogs take them out for the night and i'm gonna be in bed so hope you guys are having a good week as well let me know if you watch the young and the restless or if you've seen the idol or if you plan on getting the book that i recommended or I mentioned in my TBR, I haven't recommended it yet, but I recommend it. Um, yeah, let me know what other shows you watch. Because, like, on HBO Max, like, me and David watched a Harley Quinn show together, like, the cartoon. Um, what else have I watched on there? Oh, Euphoria. This is my first time watching it. So I started watching it after they already, the second season hit HBO Max. That show is good. Um, I hope it comes, it, I'm pretty sure it's coming back. I can't wait till it comes back. Um, what is the other show I watch on HBO Max? Oh, The Secret Sex Life of College Girls or something? I don't know what it is. Something on HBO Max. I watch that, but it's like, that show's more kind of like background noise for me. It was like really interesting in the beginning, but like, I don't know. The second season was good, but like, I wasn't like, oh my God, I need to watch the next episode. Um... Unless I'm remembering incorrectly. <laughs> I don't think I am. But yeah. So anyway, I'm just going to stop rambling. Because I'll just keep rambling. Even though I said like 10 times what I'm going to go do. I'm just going to sit here and keep talking. So yeah. I I am going to. I'm going to go. <laughs> Hi guys, happy Friday. It is 6.10 in the morning. So this is my first time actually recording before I actually get to work. Cause it's Friday and I'm happy. Um, I gotta pack my lunch and then, what else do I need? I'm not gonna make myself coffee, even though I should, but I just don't have time. I'm trying to get to work. It takes me about 30, like 25 to 30 minutes to get to work. And I want to get to work before 7 today. I used to get to into work at like 5.30. <laughs> like years ago. Like not years ago. Like a year or so ago. I used to always get to work really early. I don't know what's going on. Like I was saying, I don't know what happened, what changed. But I am too, I'm too tired to get up super early. Trying to get my ice packs out. But, um, so I think basically the vlog is going to be wrapped up tomorrow. I decided like the cleaning videos, I'm going to actually make it into like a mini series and not include it in the vlog and just have like the video go by itself, like clean with me. Um, I think that'll be fun and like a little bit different, not different in as other people don't do it, but like different for me. I think that's my plan and I'll probably me and David will probably record that um Saturday so we'll probably record that Saturday and then I think I'll probably end this vlog um when we go grocery shopping maybe like that'll be like the last part of the day and then I'll start the next vlog on Sunday so that's my plan who knows it may change depending on what what actually happened i don't know yet i just wanted to hop on say happy friday i'm very tired i am going to get to work and regret not making my coffee i already know that but i'm trying to get out the door um literally be out the door i just need to grab i already put my lunch in here i just need to grab what i'm gonna eat for breakfast and put that in and get that bagged up I have these English muffins that were in the freezer. I'm trying to get through them before I start like this low carb thing I was telling you guys about. Like I can eat English muffins and still be low carb. It was just 
Let's see. These English muffins have 28 carbs. So if I were to eat them, that would basically be like right over half of my carbs for the day. So I could make them work. I could use, I've never made like my avocado toast on an English muffin, but I wonder if that would be good. So I'm literally debating. I mean, I'm going to freeze the rest of them. I've only eaten the English muffin twice this week because I told y'all I don't like breakfast. So I'm about to pop the rest of these in a freezer bag <laughs> and freeze these. And then when I decide, when I get home today and start researching the meals that I was telling you guys about, um, maybe I'll see if there's something I can do with these to get rid of them. Or something along those lines. I just wanna make sure I'm using, sorry guys, I'm moving around so much. But I just wanna make sure I'm using everything up that I know necessarily isn't part of the low carb lifestyle. Cause I don't wanna waste any food. So I just wanna make sure, like I know, like an ideal breakfast would be making a fried egg and eating that. So I'm making sure I'm getting my protein. I just don't have, I just don't have the time um, to this morning. But that would be a really good breakfast is just making a fried egg. <clears throat> so I'm making sure I get protein because literally what I'm eating is just an English muffin with cream cheese. <laughs> and I know that's very controversial. Like people have told me. You're only supposed to put butter or jelly on an English muffin. But I like my English muffins with cream cheese. So, I guess I'm different. I don't know. But, just spooning cream cheese into my little container. But yeah, so, I don't know. I know that I'm probably going to get hungry pretty fast because this is not going to keep me full. But I did pop a yogurt in here. So, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so I just wanted to pop on and tell you guys, like, pop on. I had checked time at 6.15. I just wanted to pop on and tell you guys happy Friday. It's pretty heck. My spoon with cream cheese. Um, it's pretty hectic me getting ready in the morning. I literally am back and forth, back and forth, just grabbing stuff. Um, I'm trying to be out, this, out the house in the next, like, excuse me. I'm trying to be at the house in like the next five minutes, so 6.20, and then hopefully get to work literally right before 7. That is my plan. I'll let you guys know this evening if it happened, what time I got there. I need to work eight hours and 45 minutes today because I left work two hours early Monday for a doctor's appointment, and I've been just making up time like 30 minutes, and yesterday I only did 15 minutes over because I need to get home. But, um... Yeah, so I'll see you guys later this evening. I hope you guys had a good Friday. Hope you had a good Friday at work if you went to work. Or if you're home, I'm jealous. Um, So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got home. It is 9.15. Um, I went to dinner with one of my friends just to catch up. We haven't seen each other in a while. So I didn't want to record. Also, like I'm new to this. So like whipping out my camera in a restaurant is not my thing yet <laughs> um i don't know if i'll ever be 100 percent comfortable with doing that i definitely am gonna try because you know growth and all but so i just got home and the dogs are well willow is eating taz already scarfed his food down like super super fast um, so i'm cleaning out my like i'm emptying my lunchbox like so i was packing it this morning now i'm emptying it and rinsing stuff out um i also my throat is like so irritated so i apologize for any like clearing coughing that i do i've literally started this part so many times and i keep ending up coughing so i'm just going for it at this point um um i'm probably going to so i'm waiting for willow finishing her food i'm going to take them out for the night because the last time they went out to the bathroom was like 2 30 before david went to work so once i take them out Usually David also, when he gets home, he'll take them out again. But since we're getting both going to get up early tomorrow to like go run errands, I think if me taking them out around 930 should be like, 
to be good enough because they'll be taken out again. What time? I don't know what time we're getting up. We'll probably get up at 8. So, they should be fine. Happy Saturday, guys. Me and David are on our way to go grocery shopping. Um, I just wanted to hop on real quick because this is going to be the last day of the vlog. So, I'm going to get a few clips of us grocery shopping. And then I think that's basically going to be it. How do you feel about it, David? <laughs> He could care less. He doesn't care. But um, we're going to go to Walmart and Costco. And then I'm going to show you guys like the meals I plan to make for the week. And then I'm going to start filming the clean with me videos. I decided to do instead of just including the clean with me video in the vlogs. We're just going to make them like separate videos. So like I'll show you guys like today we're going to hopefully find a rug. Um, we might check Walmart for a rug. Yeah, Find a rug for our living room. David is so happy he hates the rug I picked because Willa's hair is it like a shag rug so Willa's hair gets like really stuck in it and when he would be trying to vacuum that stuff up it would hurt his wrist so we're gonna make David's life a little easier <laughs> by getting a new rug all right so I will see you guys either when I get home or I'll include a few clips of the shopping but I'll talk to you guys again once we get home from shopping So I'm thinking about this rug, but it's 120 at Walmart. So I don't know how I feel about that. I did not know there was a Beetlejuice show. And I love Beetlejuice, so I really wanna buy this, but we'll see. Okay guys, so we just left, um, <laughs> David's mocking me. We just left Walmart, no luck in finding a rug. I think I included a clip of one rug that we thought was okay, but it was 120. I just feel like that's expensive for Walmart. I don't know, but I don't know that brand. So maybe that's like a more, what is it like? One of their better brands, I guess, you know what I'm saying? It's I don't know. thin, it's not worth it. Okay. Yeah, David, David was not impressed. So we're gonna check on Costco. I know it's gonna be more than 120 at Costco, but if it's better quality, it might be worth it, right? I think it'll be worth it. Um, but we're waiting in line to get gas for my car for the week. And then um, we don't really have to get a lot in Costco. We're literally getting milk, tortillas, looking for a rug. I'm going to see what type of storage stuff they have. And I really don't think we need anything else. So it's 11.48. So I'm hoping we're home by like 12.30. And then that's pretty much it. So I'll let you guys know. When I get home, I'm going to show you guys what we got. And then we'll go from there. Guys, I really need to get a food saver. Do any of you have them? Is there a brand you recommend? Is this a good price for one? Please let me know. Because, like, it's $9.99, but it comes with stuff. And then the refills are only twenty dollars. So let me know. Look at David. He's over it. Literally, I can't. But we found a rug. Hi guys, so we just left Costco and we found a rug. I'm very excited. So this rug was also one twenty. But it's way better like you can feel it, it's way better quality. David just scared me with his driving. Oh my god. Um anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this is dangerous. Don't, don't let her be like that. She'd be doing, she'd be hitting curbs and stuff all the time. Dangerous driving, y'all. Anyway, so we got our rug. I'm very excited. It's, we can finally get rid of the shag carpetish rug. I don't know when we're going to be able to put this down. I would like to do, do it today, but we'll see what happens. But once I get in the house, oh my God. Once we get in the house, I will show you guys what we got from Walmart and from Costco. Hi guys, okay, so we're back home. I wanted to quickly show you guys what we got from Walmart and Costco. <laughs> I'm trying to get David to be my assistant, but he's not really, he's not feeling that, so. I did enough. You what? I did enough. He said he, he, said he did enough, so. Um, so the first thing we got is this Swiffer Power Mop. Like this is a new product. Let me show you guys. It's a new product by Swiffer. I don't think they've come out with anything new in like years, like since I was a kid. But we wanted, well, David. David said he really wanted a mop. And I showed him this and he was not impressed because he's like, how often do we have to change the pad? <laughs> he 
keys and how often do we have to change the pad? So we're gonna test it out. You guys will see it using our cleaning video. And I'll let you know what we think. <laughs> Dave is giving me a <laughs> Dave is giving me a dirty look. He's not impressed, so. But we have a lot of Swiffers. We have two other Swiffers and we have the Swiffer Duster. I use Swiffer products a lot. We use Swiffer products a lot. Maybe what you coming to, what you coming to say? I'm, I'm the one that cleans. You are not the only, no, no, that's not true. We share duties. I do not believe that women are supposed to do all the cleaning and cooking. So we split our duties evenly. I do all the laundry. By choice. And I do all the cleaning, except the bathrooms. I leave that to her. I clean too. I vacuum sometimes. Mm -hmm. I vacuum the steps. You don't like vacuuming the steps. Mm -hmm. You vacuumed the steps one time since we've lived here in three years. Okay. Okay. And it looked the best that time. No, it didn't. Yeah. You're such a liar. <laughs> David is so full of shit. Don't. Don't. I gotta cut out the part where I cuss. David is full of it. He ain't the only one that. I clean the kitchen. Shit. David, stop. I clean the kitchen. I clean the bathrooms. I do all of the cooking. Let's get that clear. So don't be thinking David does everything because he doesn't. I, I let him think that in his head because it makes him feel good. So I got Famous Dave's Sweet and Zesty Barbecue Sauce. I'm making barbecue chicken. Um, We have the Devil Spit one, but I don't know if we have enough. So I just got a backup barbecue sauce just in case. What else do we get from Walmart. I have my little, this is my little keep the cold stuff. The keep cool bag. I think we got this from Sam Club. Okay, so from Costco, I mean Costco. Walmart, we got this classic iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna have this with my lunch. David eats salad like every day. Um, <clears throat> so for dinner tonight, so Saturday, we're, we usually have like pizza from Costco. Um, but I saw DiGiorno has a new pizza, the, it's like croissant crust. And it looked interesting. I don't really, I like, I, when I was a kid, my dad used to get DiGiorno pizza all the time and I got over it. But there's certain ones I like, certain ones I don't. Sometimes I like, I don't like thick crust. So I like the hand toss one. So anyway, we're gonna try this DiGiorno um, croissant pizza tonight. See how we like it. We got two of them because I don't know how big these are. And David probably could eat the whole pizza if he wanted to, if he's been hungry enough. And then, because we're having pizza and wings, we're gonna try it. This bag is not full at all. But we're gonna try these honey barbecue chicken wings from Walmart. Literally, there's like this much in here. Um, they had other flavors, but David, he only likes barbecue or buffalo. Cause they had like a garlic butter, which I know I would have liked. And they had a Cajun style, but those were like the dry rub ones, I think. So we got those. And then I, for my lunch, since I'm, I told you guys like next week, I'm really being serious about low carb. Um, I got spaghetti squash cause I'm going to make spaghetti, but instead of noodles, I'm using this squash. I like it. David's never tried it, so I'm going to have him try it, but I don't think he likes, he's going to like it because he doesn't really like squash. So we'll see if he likes it. I don't know. I guess it's a small one because just in case he doesn't like it, I don't want to. Okay. So back to what else we got from Walmart. Um, so these are the, the refills. It comes with a full one, but I'm the type of person, we'll run out of this and then I'll keep forgetting to get it. So I just rather have it stocked up. I hope. I wonder how much, like how long each bottle will last. This is the multi-surface one. They also have the Swiffer mop specifically for wood floors, but we have vinyl, so we don't need that. And then I got the the pad, the replacement pads. So the Swiffer mop was $29. The liquid I think was $9 for two of them. And then these were 14 for eight. But I'm wondering how long each pad, like is it each pad one time use? Is it like I can use this pad two times? We'll see. That's what David was like saying, like is it worth it if we keep changing the pad? So I will get David to do the review of it. <laughs> we'll ask him after it's used to see what he thinks. And then I got, I think I showed you guys, but I got the Fantastic Beasts movies. There's three films. I have not seen any of them. Willow's annoyed. Um, but I've not seen any of these and I love Harry Potter. 
so it's part of the wizarding world universe and then we also got fantastic beasts the secrets of dumbledore so i'm really excited to see these but david's re-watching all the harry potter movies with me first we're gonna we start we watched one like the first harry potter movie like two months ago but we're gonna start it over again and then we're gonna watch the second one and we're gonna watch all of them lord of the rings is better david thinks lord of the rings is better but and i watch all the lord of the Rings movies with him because they're his favorite but yet every time i say let's watch lord of the rings is not your favorite star wars Star Wars. Wow, you're my No, but you do like Lord of the Rings is some of your favorite movies. Anyway, he's just he he's messing with me right now. Anyway, um I watched all the Lord of the Ring movies, all the Star Wars movies with him. Trying to get him to watch Harry Potter for the past three years is like pulling teeth, but we're gonna do it. And then I we also got Die Hard collection. So I know quotes from Die Hard. But I don't remember if I've actually actually if I've actually seen Die Hard because like I know certain things but I'm like did I actually watch the whole movie I don't remember so you see like I know the Yippie ki -yay thing but I don't know and like one of my friends like this is one of her favorite movies so we're I'm gonna watch these and see if I remember any of them I at least probably have seen my first one I just don't think I've seen all of them and Davis there's like seven of them so this only has the first five so gonna watch that so that's everything we got from walmart and then i'm gonna show you guys what we got from costco so costco was very we were in there forever because the line is so long because of the self-checkout but we just got um some organic eggs the brown ones um i'm gonna take boiled eggs for breakfast next week to make sure i was getting my protein in at each meal so i needed more eggs and then we got milk we just got the two percent because david's gonna eat cereal for breakfast and then i'm making him rice for one of our dinner meals as a side ow my nail and then we got the rug which i showed you guys in the car and I, did i show you in the store i think i did so that's all we got so we're gonna put all this stuff away and then yeah so i think this does it i hope you guys have a good weekend i hope you guys enjoy when this vlog goes up and yeah leave a comment subscribe below like this video if you want more vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next week's vlog